Swing states have always been critical in any presidential election. The states to look out for that can make or break this election are Pennsylvania, Nebraska, North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, Wisconsin, and Nevada. Out of the seven swing states, Pennsylvania is the swing state that has the most electoral college votes. It's too early to tell what will happen as the polls in most battleground states haven't closed yet. According to a memo by the National Popular Vote, voter turnout in swing states have been higher than the voter turnout in spectator states. The Boston University News Service investigates the impact swing state votes have on voter turnout nationally. We spoke to BU student voters across campus about their opinions on swing state and non-swing state voter impact. Um, I think it's just really important that um, that everyone in a swing state goes and votes, I think is uh, probably like the biggest thing. I just think that, you know, it doesn't matter who you are voting for, it's just important that you do vote in a swing state. And, and even if you're not in one of those states, it's just important to vote just overall. Um, I'm Elizabeth Wright. I'm a senior at Boston University. I'm majoring in psychology, um, and I'm from North Carolina. I think it's important to monitor it just more closely. Like, if we already know a specific state is going to swing a certain direction, we can spend more time educating people on how to vote, getting people to the polls in swing states. Hopefully, whoever is our next stop, President will be able to fix those and uh... I'm really hoping Kamala wins just in terms of it will actually still have a democracy. If Trump wins, I'm gonna have to be looking at some really difficult life decisions.